How Stoicism Can Shift Your Mental Health for the Better Completely Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Marcus Aurelius Stoicism is a type of philosophy that was developed in ancient Greece around 300 BC by Zeno of Citium. It teaches the methods for developing self-control and resilience so as to be able to conquer negative emotions. Stoicism was subsequently developed further, made famous, and propagated by the likes of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epicurus. Stoicism cannot be defined as just a set of ethical assertions or beliefs, but instead as a way of life that involves continuous training and practice, the incorporation of practicing and using logic in everyday life situations, contemplation of one's mortality, and different meditation-like exercises that train the mind to remain focused on the current moment. Stoicism does not imply creating a path of resistance to emotions. Instead, it works towards enhancement of one's judgments about different external factors so as to rearrange one's emotional scale, de-accentuate abnormal emotions, and cultivate and nurture healthy emotions. The tenets of Stoicism come closest to the branch of psychology that is cognitive behavioral therapy. CBT is one of the best therapies to alleviate anxiety. One of the teachings of Marcus Aurelius is the impediment of action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This can be applied to eliminate any kind of anxiety. For example, people with stage fright or social anxiety can regard stage fright as the impediment to action. They can use the impediment which stands in the way to become the way and advance action. As is done via CBT, social anxiety sufferers can take their fear of public speaking, socializing, and use the fear to keep trying to talk to others eventually leading to a realization that talking to others does not result in any kind of problems as initially feared. Here are some of the practices of Stoicism that can be used by anxiety sufferers for relief from anxiety starting today. Do not waste time. Seneca taught that We're tight-fisted with money and property, yet think too little of wasting time, the one thing about which we should all be the toughest misers. Anxiety sufferers need to use this teaching and recognize the idea that time is their supreme asset. Once time is lost, unlike material things, it can never be recovered. It is therefore essential to keep striving towards wasting as little time as possible on fear of situations and use it to achieve desirable results. Create a focus of control that is internal. Epictetus taught that man is disturbed not by things, but by the views he takes on them. People with anxiety need to realize that a lot of the things that occur in life are not in our control. Realizing this irrefutable truth can help focus on what can be done to avoid negative outcomes and thus ease anxiety. Your happiness is not dependent on others. Marcus Aurelius quoted, I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than on the opinions of others. A lot of our fears and anxieties have their basis in our inherent need to be accepted and liked by others. We work very hard for money we don't want to be able to buy things we don't truly desire or want. 
just to be able to impress other people who we really don't care about. Lead a life that is independent of the opinions of others. Do not outsource the reasons for your own happiness. Once you begin doing what makes you happy and stop seeking the approval of others, then anxiety will subsequently ease and get eliminated completely. The Best Stoic Practices for Reaching Your Goals Most of the Stoic principles and practices are simple and clear-cut in Stoicism, but each of them can entail several other thoughts and ideas. Some of the best Stoic principles for reaching your goals are discussed here and now. Number one, failure is a part of life, but not the end of it. Most of us are afraid of failing at different aspects of our lives, such as our career, relationships, family, etc. Such fear of failure is one of the key impediments towards reaching our life goals. We need to remember that fear is nothing but an emotion which informs and prevents us from taking risks and avoiding failure no matter what. It is, however, important to note that letting fear of failure dictate the terms of how we live our lives will eventually cause us to forego a lot of opportunities that could have added value to our lives. Most of the opportunities that we get across the course of our lives may or may not work out, but such risks of being unsuccessful are fine. Failure is a part of life. And it's fine to experience failure on occasions. We, however, need to learn and gain something out of such an experience of failure. Once you overcome the fear of failure, you can meet all the challenges in your life with greater strength and reach your goals. Number two, get a valued mentor. In the absence of emotion, Most of the choices that we make in life are dependent on our understanding of the world. We typically think about the outcome of different decisions on us, on our loved ones, and on society in general. Our past experiences are what imbibe in us knowledge about what kind of choices can lead to what kind of results. However, such knowledge is often not perfect and it is more so in young people as their experience is also limited. A mentor on whom you can place your trust can help in making personal life choices, which often play a key role in achievement of life goals. Number three, read and gain new knowledge and then use it. One of the basic tenets of Stoicism is gaining the capacity to look at places, people, situations, things, and ideas in a practical manner without judgment and emotion. In order to be able to accomplish it, we need to read up and acquire knowledge and then learn about appropriate application of such knowledge. Increasing your knowledge and views of the world, as well as using such increased knowledge in a correct manner, will help you become a smarter person and pave a successful path towards reaching your goals. Top 3 Best Quotes from Stoicism That Will Change Everything For You Number 1. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This quote means that we need to take control of our thoughts. The fact is that we have continuous control over everything in the mind. Irrespective of the events occurring in your surroundings, you can choose a perception of the events that are occurring, and that is what will determine your feelings towards those events. The quote also entails the fact that happiness of any individual is not tied to external factors, but is instead dependent on what the person is thinking. When thinking, it is important to avoid a few things in the thought processes. We need to become accustomed to fine-tuning our thoughts. Thus, 
when anyone asks about what we are thinking. We can truthfully offer an answer in an instant. Number two, how much time he gains who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks, but only at what he does himself to make it just and holy. This quote means that we shouldn't seek other people's approval and remain in our own lives. Stoicism teaches that worries and concerns about the views of others is just a total waste of time. We need to know that neither disapproval nor admiration is important as none of it has any effect on the internal value of whomever or whatever is being assessed or judged. Happiness of the self is not dependent on the opinion or approval of others. However, we all have an innate desire to be liked and accepted by others. We tend to work real hard in our lives to be able to purchase things that we may not really desire, only for the sole reason of impressing others. Your basis of happiness and contentment should not be outsourced to others. After you start doing all the things that you like and stop looking for the endorsement of others, everything will change for the better for you. Number three, a cucumber is bitter. Throw it away. There are briars in the road. Turn aside from them. This is enough. Do not add. And why were such things made in the world? Stoicism helps us learn different ways in which to overcome obstacles and how to convert them into opportunities. When dealing with different hindrances in our paths, we need to do it swiftly and do not waste time in whining about the obstruction. All those who hinder our path need to become irrelevant. It may be possible to block our actions, but it is not possible to impede our nature or our intentions. We have capacity to accommodate, change, and adapt. The mind can adjust and convert the obstacle into an asset, thereby allowing us to keep moving forward. How to deal with internal and external problems the Stoic way. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This quote talks about the two kinds of events in our lives, internal events and external events. Internal events are things that are within our control and they are often things that are in our minds. External events are those which are not within our control. These are some tips on how to deal with internal and external problems the stoic way. Number one, realize that life is not simple and easy. Currently, whenever we are down or sad, most people ask us to become more positive and become happy and cheer up. Stoics did not advocate this method. Stoics were of the opinion that we should not have nor even try to keep any hope for the future. They wanted us to eliminate all hope. They believed that hope was the most addictive emotional drug and that the more hope we had, the greater were the chances of a deeper dive. Stoics' teachings state that bad things like your house getting robbed, relationship issues, and even jail time will occur. However, that is not the end of life, and that we will all get through such troubles. Stoics propagated that misfortunes are part of life, and that all will turn out to be just fine. They believed that humans held incorrect expectations of life and taught us to live our life that is in tune with reality. According to them, all negative emotions were the outcomes of erroneous judgments. According to Stoics, a good state of the mind is dependent about the mind's capacity of virtue and reason. Thus, 
The driving force in life has to be rationality and not emotions. This does not mean that emotions have to be completely eliminated. It just means that emotions need to take a back seat to rationality. Number two, there should be not worrying about things outside our control. Most of us tend to worry about the external and perceive things in our surroundings to be good or bad. Stoics, however, believe that all of the dangers as well as the rewards are internal and emanate from within us. They sought to relinquish the benefits of the outside world to gain freedom. Tranquility and calmness. It was postulated that desire inherently makes all of us sad and unhappy due to the fact that we tend to desire something that is not in our possession. The desire and excitement for what is currently in our possession is often absent. This unforgiving fact can be effectively managed by using the technique of changing the internal. Example: the desires, and not the external. Example: the surroundings, the objects, and the people around you. The solution to this issue proposed by Stoics was that the main desire and want of humans has to be changed to the prevention of stress and frustration, which may result due to desires that we do not have the capacity to fulfill. This can help convince us out of almost all desires that we seek out of the external world. The focus should always be on the internal, on things that we can control. Top three lessons from Stoicism that we can take to live a stress-free life. Number one, understand life aspects that are not within your control. As recognized previously, one of the top lesions of Stoicism is recognizing all the things that are within our control and not within our control. This will help us all to live a stress-free life. For example, if you are stuck in a traffic jam, it is very easy to get stressed and frustrated. You may get angry at others, fall prey to road rage, or even tear your hair out. Now the question to ask yourself is whether or not the traffic jam is in your control, and the obvious answer is no. Hence, the best thing to do is recognize the fact that you can't do anything to change the situation, as it is outside of your control. Doing so will help prevent stress and turn your attention elsewhere. A musician who is very good at his or her art. May feel stress before going on to stage to perform. Now, why is that so? The musician knows that he or she plays well, and that he wants to play well. But when on stage, he or she also seeks applause from the audience. The latter is what causes the stress. If the musician realizes. That the applause of the audience is something that is outside of their control, then associated stress will ease, and he or she will just go on stage and perform as best as possible without any stress. What may happen later cannot be controlled. All that the musician can do is control his or her response and keep a stoic appearance. Number two. Learn to live a life with just the necessities. Living a stoic life is not that easy. It asks us to attach ourselves to our rational minds and souls, but most of us like to look at several different material things to bound to property, to friends, to the body, to relationships, to children, and to the family. The weight of all these additional attachments eventually tends to drag us down and increase the stress in our lives. Stoicism teaches surrender of a lot of our wants and desires, especially of wealth and luxury. We may want all of the non-essential things. 
but our desire for a Ferrari in the garage or a huge flat screen TV in the living room will only result in sadness and disappointment when the means to fulfill those desires do not exist. Number three, separate real issues from imaginary ones. One of the primary stress-inducing factors in our lives is the what-if scenario. We constantly tend to fret about possible outcomes which are yet to become a reality, and this eventually results in stress. Real problems are those issues that are occurring now. The problems which may occur as opposed to what is occurring are imaginary problems. Recognizing the real problems and separating them from imaginary ones is a stoic lesson that one should always adhere to. It will help to lead a stress-free, happy life. Warriors, I hope this short audiobook on Stoicism has helped you to gain a deeper understanding on how to live a stress-free and anxiety-free life. Take some of the suggestions in this book and run with it. Understand how you can apply it into your own life and what lessons you've truly, truly gained from this audiobook. Share it with someone that needs it, open up their eyes, help them gain further clarity, and maybe look into Stoicism a bit more. Love you all. Remember, you are more than anxiety. Bye-bye. Thank you.